Dr. Kashub Stephen Tumwesije. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys. Um, as, as a child, I grew up in my father's farm, uh, witnessing uh, uh, the, the, the polythene bug, popularly known as Kavira in Uganda, uh, being eaten by our cows, and they were dying. Uh, at that time, uh, at some point, we were enjoying it because we, whenever the cows die, we would eat them. But of course, our parents were not very happy. So at one point, we were required to always clean the farms of the, of, of the, what? Of the polythene bags. At that time, of course, we were a child, and we didn't know why. Now, when I re relocated into the city, into the capital city, they, I kept on now seeing uh, a lot of, of polythene bags. Now, it was like an experience. I said I, I saw them at home, we were praying with them, but now they are in the cities, in, in channels, the they fly yeah. around when there is wind. I said, wow, there must be a solution. Now, in, uh, later on, when I was retiring from my work at, at Naro Kawanda, uh, going home, there was a lot of traffic jam, and I decided that I make a shortcut. I, now, the, the shortcut took me through the, the landslide, the, the Chitezi landslide. And I was later oh, told oh, oh. that it was a, a, a city council landslide. Now, I remember yeah. I was praying with the polythene bags. Now, I've seen heaps of, of bags, not only uh, of, of those polythene bags, but also other wastes. And among those wastes, I saw the food wastes. There were banana wastes, there were cassava wastes. They said there must be a solution. Now, in 2000, you know, the, the polythene bag is captivating. It is, it is so convenient that when you go to buy your goods or your food, then you carry it very easily through rain, through sunshine. You carry it and go home. And then because of that, in Uganda, and I think globally, we have developed the, the model of producing, using, and throwing. And then we don't reverse that situation. So in, it was in, around uh, uh, June 2012 that the, 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 cons the, the, the opportunity of training came. NARO was organizing a training for scientists. And we were told that we need to do a, an innovative research that is going to have a, a sustainable impact for our country. So what came into my mind was I was told that you need to develop a product, a food product, that is going to do that. But in my mind, I said, okay, 60% of the uh, polythene bags carry food from groceries, from supermarkets, from all over. I said, okay, I'm, I must do, look for a solution for these polythene bags. Now the opportunity came, and I, 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 I decided on that. But you should remember that the, the, the polythene bag, I was thinking now, the polythene bag that stays in the soil, the polythene bag that stays for over a thousand years without uh, decomposing, what could be the solution? Remember, Tom, I've looked at the, the, the safety of animals and the safety of the environment, the, the, the polythene clogging in the soils. Then later in Chitezi, and now I looked at the safety of the people who are staying around. I said, now, I need to address this, to address this, and I would have addressed issues of the animals, the safety of the animals, the safety of the people, and the safety of the environment. Now, time came, and I was admitted at the National University of Ireland, uh, Cork. Uh, it is based in the southern part of Ireland. Uh, it was one Sunday evening, and I was escorted by my family to the airport. Now, you know, that joy that you're going out. So we kept on saying, oh, I'm going out, I'm going out. I mean, for them, they thought that was also a good thing, going out, leaving them behind. But guess what? At the airport, my son, when I reached, uh, when I entered the waiting room, my son started crying. Now I thought it was the tears of joy at that time. So, he didn't expect that I was going to leave him. At that time, I think it was uh, about five years. Then when I waved bye to them, then he started crying. I said, tears of joy or what? But then he was saying, my daddy, my daddy, I want my daddy. Don't leave me. 
Then I tried to, I was of course not happy, but I continued and went. So I arrived in Ireland, it was a chilly evening, and then the, the person who was supposed to, 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 to correct me was my uh, supervisor. She came and corrected me and took me to the university uh, hall where I was supposed to reside. Properly. So in the morning, the, my supervisor corrected me and introduced me to the Department of Chemistry and introduced me to the staff of the Department of Chemistry uh, and also the students. And then he told me, this is, and then he was given a table and a chair and he told me, this is where you are going to start your journey of the PhD. And then she told me, uh, Dr. Maria, my spouse, Dr. Maria Garaga, she told me, uh, don't fear, these people are very friendly. You, you are the only black, but don't worry. These people are very friendly. Uh, then that week uh, ended. So one Monday morning, my supervisor called me and said, you need to start the work to, to, to know work. whether the cassava is going to make the yes. polythene bags. Uh, you know, my supervisor didn't know about cassava. Actually, most of them, they didn't know about cassava. They thought it were vegetables. You mean the cassava the vegetable? I said, you know, in our country, a cassava is not a vegetable, <laughs> but it's part of the main what main dish. Ah, so he said, okay, I, I'm not sure whether cassava is going to make a polythene bag, but what you do, you try your best, and then once it refuses, then we are going to use other materials to make. The then you know my heart. Now you know I was at first. I knew I was going to make it from cassava. But now, you see those words of my supervisor. Then I started fearing. I said, wow, is it going to be okay? But I was determined to make the protein bag from cassava. Now then, we, we sat down make, and we, we made, made a program. So once we made a program, and then I started moving. Then it was uh, another, then that week ended another Monday morning. I went to the one of the supermarkets uh, in, in Cork, Cork is the second city in Ireland, and the, in the English supermarket. And when I went there, I was not expecting to get cassava, but I got cassava roots from the English supermarket. I quickly took them to the lab, because I didn't want to have any decomposition along the way. Took to the lab, and from the lab, I washed that cassava, and I started my process of making the polythene bag. Now, because, of course, that cassava, I was, I was also thinking that at home, really, when we're going to eat cassava, we peel and eat. Now, I also peeled uh, the, the, the usual way and threw away the, the peels. And I, then I, I went through the process and made the, the polythene bag. Now, you know, the, that polythene bag was soggy, had a lot of bubbles, was tearing very fast, so I was so much discouraged. I said, now I remember the words of my supervisor that if cassava fails, we're going to use other materials. But then in Uganda, back here, I had promised Naro that I'm going to make a polythene bag out of what? Out of cassava. Then, but I said, I need to make it. I didn't tell my supervisor that they said, let me try. The following day, I did not stop. The following day, I got the same cassava. Now I used the whole root of cassava with the peers. Now, when I made, went through the same process, I made the, the polythene bag, it was improved. I could see, still see the bubbles, but now it was not tearing very fast. It was not tearing very fast, and then I said, okay, now I've made it. Hmm? Then I said, okay, but what is it that uh, from the period to the whole root, it is now better than the other one? They said, perhaps it could be the peers. So the third day, still in the morning, I did what? I got the peers, and then I also got the whole root. I wanted to compare between the root and the whole root, and the peers. Now I got the peers uh, uh, and the whole root. I, made, I went through the same process, and I made the protein bag. You can't imagine. The one from the peers was extremely improved. It, it was so improved that I started uh, forwarding it. It was, it was folding it and coming back. Hmm? And then so, uh, I, I remember one time, one time that I threw it down to see whether it can be torn. It was not. But the still, the problem of the bubbles was still there. But at least I was now happy. My, my, my heart came back thinking that now I'm going to make 
a poly what? A, a polythene sheet, a, a polythene bag. Now then, I called my supervisor. I, I've made the, the bags, I, I've made the, the, the sheets, that time there were sheets, I made the polythene sheets, the Cavera sheet, but I still have a problem of what? Of the bubbles. Then she said, wow, Kashup, have you made the sheet? I said, yes, I've made the sheet. From cassava? Yes, I said from cassava. I said, let me come. She was in the office, and she, she ran and came to the lab. Now, in the lab, in the lab, I was shocked. Uh, when she came, she was shocked. She said, Kashub, are you sure you did this material? You did this cassava? Uh, I mean, you made this, this polythene bag from the cassava? I said, yes. What, what else did you add? I said, no, this is cassava. This is pure cassava. I made it. Then I told her, but I made it from the peel, it refused. I, I improved it by making it, by making it from the whole root, uh, it, it improved. And then I improved it further by looking only at the peels. I said, wow, she was so excited. Uh, she go to the, you see, she go to the, 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 the what, the, my, my polythene bag. So what she did, she put her hand and here and said, Kashub, take me a photo. She gave me her phone. Now, once I took the photo, said, Kashub, let me come back. She ran, she ran to the, to the other staff and, and showed them, you see, this is, this is now a bag. This is now a, a, a sheet that has made my student. Say, which student? Kashub. Who is Kashub? Kashub comes from Uganda. You mean Uganda? Yes, that's what they said. Now, then she quickly told the technician to come and help me and uh, show me the machine that was going to remove um, the bubbles. You know, that time, once we are, we are not using a machine, you need to know how the machine uh, works. So when the technician came, he asked me three questions, uh, two questions. He said, no, three questions. He said, you said you are from where? I said, Uganda. Now, do you know how to present? I said, no. To make a presentation? I said, no. Do you know how to use a, a test tube? I said, no. I said, then he said, perfect. I'm going to teach you all the, all the, all the two, what to do. And then, of course, there was no, the, 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 the making a presentation was not in the lab, but he showed me how to use a test tube. And then he showed, showed me the machine that, that I used to remove the what? The, 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 the bubbles. Now, I did uh, that, I used that machine and to, to remove the bubbles, and I was very excited because the bubbles went, and then the thing was as smooth as, as, as you see it here. Hmm? was very smooth. Hmm? And then I said, okay, I'm now going to make it. But now, because it was not so firm, uh, then that cassava was from Costa Rica and Colombia. I said, no, perhaps I need to use the cassava, the bitter cassava variety in Uganda that was making better flour and other products. I told my supervisor very fast, and she agreed with me. I came back to Uganda. I went to West Nile, uh, where that cassava is, and I picked it. Picked it, came to Kawanda Lab, and I processed it. Now, I processed the, the, the material from the horror root and then from the peers. Then I quickly ran back to Ireland. Now, when I reached there, uh, it was a, a Saturday. Then I said, Monday, I must start. And I told my supervisor, I've brought it. Then he said, so quickly, I said, yes. Then I started Monday in the morning. I, started, uh, I went back and, and went through the same process. And I made what? The, the, the polythene sheets. Now, once I made them, now they came out very nice. I was so excited. You know why? Because this was a Ugandan, a local material that we are going to use. And in the beginning, I was thinking now, if I get a better cassava from Costa Rica or Colombia, shall we import it into Uganda? Hmm? But I said, can the breeders now make the, that better variety? But I said, now I've gotten one from Uganda that can be improved by breeders uh, to, to, to make those materials. Now, once I made it, I did not tell my supervisor. So I said, okay, let me wait. So it was uh, a Thursday uh, evening at 5.30 uh, um, p.m. when others had left. I said, I need to go to the lab, and I was determined to make a cassava bag. Now, I went there, you know, from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. when the university closes, I did that one. Now, it, it was surprising. You know, one of our students had bought uh, a watermelon. Remember, I did not tell that person that I was going to use a melon. But I got the watermelon, put it in my cavera while I was retiring back to, to the, my, my hall of residence. Now, a few meters, 10 meters, it was raining. The paper parted, and the, my, the watermelon 
landed down and split. So two things. One, I'd used someone's uh, um, uh, watermelon. And then two, the, 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 the paper bag that I had made and I knew I was through, and then it also parted. Then that night was a nightmare. I didn't sleep properly. Uh, I came back to, to my office in the, mo in the very early in the morning. I didn't greet people. They were asking me what's happening in Kashub. We need to solve what, what, is, what is worrying you. I said, I'm very okay. Then I sat on my computer. Then I thought, I said, in the evening, I should go back to the lab and do that. Now it was a Friday evening. I said, okay, now I have the evening, but also the weekend when they are away. Now I went back uh, to the lab on Friday evening, uh, 5.30. I did it. I went through the same process. I remembered that I needed to make a cavera that was water resistant. Rain. Go so the problem was the rain. So I, I needed to make the what? The, the polythene bag that would, that would uh, save me from that. Uh, I, I mean, that, that would be water resistant. So I quickly did it, and I went through, and I put the watermelon again, and I moved. I, was, I made sure that I put the watermelon of the same size that I used previously. Now I walked a kilometer, I was staying a kilometer away, and it did not part. Do you know, I didn't look at it because I didn't want it to see parting. So I reached in, in my hall of residence, and it was intact. I was so excited. That night, I was so excited. And, I, and even my roommates, uh, my, my flatmates asked me, what is happening? I said, I've made it. What? I said, I've dropped a, a what? A biodegradable bag that is going to carry goods. So the following morning, I took it back to the office and, uh, and also uh, uh, got another sheet like this one and laid it on a, on a, on a, on a seat. I said, okay, I'm going to say, I, then I, asked, I, I called my, my supervisor, I said, I have a surprise here. Now, when she came, I said, okay, I, I've made two things. One, a, a seat cover for the planes in Europe, and also a biodegradable bag that is going to carry goods. She was so excited. The, the, the students had in the room were so excited, and everybody was so excited. So it, I felt like I was on top of the world. Even since then, my, 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 my supervisor decided that she got, she, she, she got other students uh, other to do research on that cavera. Because now she was sure that cassava could make what? Could make cavera. Previously, she was not. She oh, took oh, oh, all oh, what I had done to, and showed it to the staff. And the staff were so excited. Now, this is the cavera that, can, that has a potential hmm, to reduce the cost of waste management in Uganda. Imagine hmm, removing all the wastes from the channels, from the city, and taking them to Chitezi. And then also managing the Chitezi. How much money is that? Now, this is the cavera that brings about production efficiency. When you are going to produce it, it's cost less than what? Th than the other uh, biodegrad uh, non-biodegradable firm. Now, imagine an environment free of cavera. Thank you. <laughs>